Welcome to another live Reiki healing session. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get started. Hey Katie, welcome back. Hey Gianna, welcome back. It's nice to have you here. Hey Spellbound Girl, it's good to see you again. Hello Jennifer, thank you for the tiny diny. Hey Kimmy, it's good to see you. Thank you, Sharon, for that rose. Much love, guys. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. Thank you, Luce. Luce, Luce, for the rose. Thank you, Spellbound Girl, for that lollipop. Hey, Julie. It's good to see you again. I have something important to me to talk about at the end of the stream, so I hope you guys will stick around. And it relates to my story post today. Something very important is happening tomorrow. Hey, Hallie. Where's Sammy? I'm, I'm visiting friends and family in New Jersey. And Sammy is being watched over by my good friend in upstate New York. Absolutely safe, yes. I'll ask her, yeah. Had a good day today. I will talk more in depth about my recent comings and goings and projects at the end of the stream. But for now, we are working on the throat chakra. We're working on healing communication, We're working on opening up lines of communication, authentic communication, speaking our truth, asserting ourselves, saying the things that need to be said and healing miscommunications as well as clearing away negativity and that sound you hear in the background is 741 hertz music <clears throat> which works with our throat helps clear negativity and heal communication thank you tyla for the TikTok and the roses. And thank you, Luz, for the superpower. I feel that, Hallie. Your BFF and you were separately beefing with each other over two different things. What did Kimmy say? I felt you weren't at home. He's pregnant. I'm missing some things in chat, it seems. Thank you, Roberta, for the roses. Much love. I don't know what you 
you guys are talking about in chat. So yeah. This healing <laughs> is going to be good for miscommunications, opening up communication between friends and loved ones. That maybe need some healing for our greatest and highest good. single parent to a cat. Seems like I did miss the joke. <laughs> I liked Kelly in the office. my birthday. Hey trouble for days, thank you for the rose. Well generally I'm doing great today. Thank you for asking. Taking a few moments, it's not my birthday, I'm taking a few moments to pluck negative energy, disharmony from our aura. Releasing whatever you're meant to release at this time. Whatever we can let go of, that's no longer serving us. Whatever we might be holding on to, or might be clinging to us that we can let go of. Again. It's good to see you again. Jennifer is a little troublemaker in here. I have a really cool art drop that's happening tomorrow where 
all of the frogs that I've been working on and the ingredients, the cooking ingredients are going on sale. I'm going to talk about that at the end, though, because I don't want to detract from our healing session. Oh, Jen, that's so wonderful. It turns one in a week. Wow. I remember when I was one. No, I don't. Thank you, Roberta, for the five roses. Much love. Milady Creates, thank you for the hand hearts. So much love. Julie, thank you for the tiny dining. Roberta for the finger hearts. Thank you, Julie, for the cat paws. You guys are wonderful. Thank you all for being here with me tonight helping me create this sacred healing space. Thank you, Clara, for the tiny dining. Thank you, Doris, for the rose. Much love. Thank you, Jen, for the cloud bread and the ice cream cones. You always give me the most unhealthy food. I love it. Thank you. Whoa, and thank you, Sparkle Storm, for subscribing. So much love to you. Thank you so much. I am incredibly, incredibly grateful. Welcome to the sub club. This is a sub only chat tonight. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Desert Mystic. I appreciate you very much. And thank you, <clears throat> TGCE. The rose, much love. Using a little selenite now to help us. Shed any lingering negativity, any disharmony, let us let go of it now. Let the selenite help us dispel that negative energy. Thank you so much. User KTD, KTTKDDFMU for the roses. Thank you, TJ, for the cat paws. Much love. Thank you, Supernova Mummy, for the roses. Let's just let go of anything that we've been holding on to, anything lingering in our aura, any shreds of psychic residue, negativity. 
letting the selenite sweep it down, down, down. And deep into the earth where it can be transmuted back into love. Thank you, Denise, for the rose and following. Hey, Katie. <laughs> the wreck. Love it. Letting go of anything that's not serving our highest good. Surrendering to the moment, the beautiful present moment. Corinne, like Corinne, <laughs> I love your name. Thank you so much for subscribing. So much love to you. Welcome to the sub club. I am incredibly grateful. Very cool. The spelling is great. Letting go and grounding ourselves in the beautiful present moment. The very essence of a distance Reiki healing session is remembering that we are all one, that we do not send Reiki over a distance because distance is the illusion. We remember that we are all one and we lean into that divine connection and we let the Reiki flow. Thank you, Jacqueline, for the rose. Hey, cat. I just dropped my microphone, and I hope that wasn't too terribly loud. Thank you, Mitch, for the roses. Much love. Thank you, Denise, for the roses. But yeah, that's one of one of the teachings. When we do distance healing in Reiki, we learn that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jen, for the roses. Thank you, Anna, for the finger heart. I just thanked you, Jen. That's something that we learn. Um, it's a lesson that's taught in Reiki level two when we start getting into distance healing. That the distance is an illusion. That we share a connection, a oneness. That we come from the same place. A home that we all go back to. That we're all very much a part of. And we are all connected. Separation and distance is an illusion. Energetically. Thank you, Jen, for the pumpkin pie. Delicious. I do enjoy pumpkin pie very much. Thank you for the panda, Jim. You fell asleep. That's okay, Katie. You can fall asleep. You do whatever feels right. A panda. 
a whole panda. They're they're endangered, aren't they? I appreciate that, Karen. <laughs> yeah, sometimes just listening to myself talk and being around myself is enough to put me asleep. <laughs> Andrew Crochets, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Pandas are too lazy to mate. That's a shame. knocked this feather over and something knocked my microphone over very weird of course it might just be me thank you Blair for the rose much love Very interesting, Katie, about the razor. <laughs> and yeah, Jen, from when I did paranormal investigation, I still have an EMF meter and like a digital tape recorder and a spirit box, all kinds of stuff. Thank you, Duda, for the cloud bread. John. How would you use the dousing rods to talk to your higher self? Wow, Katie, that is such an old house. Wow. A Marxist witch, thank you for the cat paws. Much love. Draw a Reiki power symbol in our aura real quick. Oh, 
gem like a like a pendulum. I do have one of those made out of rose quartz for just that type of thing. Talking to my spirit guides and things. Thank you, Haley, for the ASMR time. Much love. folks in New England. Cool. Hello, Allie. It's nice to see you. Thanks for coming by tonight. South Texas. That's cool. Also love to visit Salem. I visited New Hope in Pennsylvania. It's a pretty haunted old town. I really like. I know I like Salem. Northern Virginia. Virginia. That's cool. Virginia is a beautiful state. And thanks, Julie. This track is called. It's a 741 hertz frequency. It's called 741 hertz frequency <laughs> to remove negative energy, cleanse aura. Yes, I love New Hope. Whoa. Thank you so much, Kay, for the owl. What a lovely owl, thank you. Play city girls or that bunny guy? I don't know what you mean. You love naming people, naming people who get right to the point. Excuse me for that flub. There's a group on Facebook called Spooky in Salem. It's a great resource for planning trips to Salem. That's cool. Oh. Maybe I should get back on Facebook. Some people have been asking me like to make Reiki content on Facebook and I'm like, I haven't used Facebook really since <clears throat> a very long time ago. Angel Lynn, thank you for the cat paws. Much love to you. I'm gonna bring out a little 741 Hertz frequency to go with our track. Help open up that communication more. Help us clear more negative energy and heal communication in our relationships. Give a listen to this one. You can feel it in your throat area. Breathe it into this throat chakra. Color blue, bright blue color in your throat. 
feel it vibrating along with it. The permaculture plants. The plant guy is back. Thank you for the hand hearts. Much love, welcome. Powerful frequency. My allergies have been mostly okay. Gabarine, welcome back. permaculture plants. I really appreciate you saying that. Sometimes I get a little imposter syndrome and sometimes when I post I'm like, wow, did I really hit the mark of what I was trying to achieve? But feedback like that really goes a long way. I'm grateful and I'm glad and appreciative that I'm able to help. Hey, Ryan, what's up? And thank you for that endorsement, Karen. <laughs> thank you, Permaculture Plants, for hyping me up. Last one. Oh, thank you, Sparkle Storm. <laughs> That video was a tough one for me because I edited it and I exported it like five or six times and the sound kept getting chopped off and like mixed around and I could not figure it out and I was going crazy trying to figure it out. So I appreciate you saying that. Snuffleupagus, a giant woolly mammoth. I used to love him. Ryan, you've been getting crazy storms. I do love storms, though. There's something about that wild primal energy in the air. You know, it's very palpable, tingly. I like it. I do love Florida.
Hey, Sigma Daisy. Rain, but no storms. Really, Katie, that's interesting. So right now I'm visiting friends and family in New Jersey. But I'm currently staying in upstate New York. Way up there. Missed you too, Allie. I'm glad you're back. Reiki and its very nature attracts love to us. Reiki is pure, divine, and unconditional love. What really attracts love is creating that love first from within. The more you create and feel that love within yourself, let it burn bright, let it shine outwardly and touch the whole world around you. The more you can do that, the more love you will attract into your life. But focus on feeling the love within first. Katie, um, Central Jersey is the closest I'm going to say. Yeah, Gabrine, I hate to say it, but you must feel and create that love within yourself first. The universe brings us more of what we tune our frequency to. If we want more love, we have to tune our frequency to love and we have to embody that love in order for the universe to bring us more of it. That's how it works. That's okay. Wattis Will, thank you for the mirror bloom. You in Northern Jersey? That's really cool. Yeah, I'm not too far. That was a very beautiful gift. Thank you so much. I'm not from New Jersey. I'm from New York originally. It's definitely one thing that I try to remember that everything we're seeking can't be found out there in the world. Seeking happiness, seeking love, we must first create them within ourselves. Juanita, thank you so much for subscribing. So much love to you. I am so, so grateful. Thank you. Welcome to the sub club. Your home boat was in New York City. I went shopping every weekend. I do love New York City. I'll be visiting Florida hopefully next month. <clears throat> and Allie, I will tell her, yes. Loving yourself is so important. So important. Another thing I'll tell you, Gavrine, is that you say I really do, but I only meet people who don't vibe what's meant for us will always be ours your tribe is out there your soul family is out there the more you consistently 
are authentic. Love yourself. Express kindness and speak your truth. Do what you love unapologetically. Let your light shine from within. The more the people that are meant to be with you will find you. The universe has a way of bringing people into our lives when we least expect it. Live it up, Katie. It sounds great. Do you know how to activate my crystals? Well, I can't activate them for you, but if you take your crystal, like this amethyst we're about to use that I love so much, it doesn't have to be a specific word or phrase, but you can just whisper to your crystal. You could say, I activate you, amethyst, in the service of the greatest and highest good of all. May you be used for calming strengthening intuition, transforming, transforming us spiritually, emotionally, physically, enhancing our psychic gifts and bringing us comfort in times of distress and anxiety. And so it is. Something like that. It's all in the intention. That's not Sammy, actually. That's Sweets. <laughs> Sweets is a sweet old girl. Sammy is in upstate New York and I miss her. I checked in today to see how she's doing. Thank you, Juanita. She doesn't do well in the car. I don't think it'd be fair to her to bring her down here. Oh, we have an old man named Dexter. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> and a super rambunctious chaos goblin named Maybelline. I love it. Maybe she was born a chaos goblin, maybe she's just Maybelline. Amethyst is beautiful. I love it, Juanita. I don't think it's my birthstone, but I'm very drawn to it. I 
Oh, Jennifer, you don't wish your birdstone was fruity pebbles with all those artificial colors in there. I draw another Reiki power symbol. Ruby fire. Did you say Bailey was in here? Bailey's here? I believe Bailey was here briefly last night, but she had something to do. But we saw her for a little while. It's not a tree of life, I don't think. But it is a tree. And I found this in a crystal store in upstate New York. This one's one of my favorite tapestries, along with the other tree. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> birds. Speaking of birds, I wanted to talk to you guys about an app that I found. But I'll wait till the end. It has to do with birds. Okay, I won't forget. Sigma Daisy, you can remind me, maybe, if you please, <laughs> if you could. Um, love you too, Julie, and all of you. Well, I won't teach you bird language. Hey, Michelle. Hope you're not calling me Merlin. Hey, Donna. 
Welcome. You're a huge bird nerd. I love that. You sh there should be a shirt that just says bird nerd on it. Feeding station is epic on some pretty dorky levels. I'm trying to get one set up in, um, in upstate New York. Cornell had a bird app. This is a different kind of bird app. I'll tell you guys about. That's so cool. Allie, the sprays are put on hold until after my frog thing is done, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. Thank you, Juanita. That's so kind of you. The app is called Merlin. Okay. I'll have to look that up. It's a bird ID app. I actually have a friend who can literally, he can hear any bird. He's the one I live with upstate. He can hear any bird and he just knows. He's like, oh yeah, that's like a something starling. And you know, they're actually an invasive species and something, something, something. I'm like, whoa. He's also a really talented music producer. He has a really good ear for sound. Juanita, thank you for the rose. Much love. Twitter. What a place, Twitter. That was seven forty one hertz again. Sorry, I should have said that. So I'm taking some themes from my most recent YouTube video, working on healing communication, clear and honest communication. Authentic expression, self-expression.
Yeah, Jen's the shy one. The quiet kid in class. I'm grateful that you're here, Allie. Draw one last Reiki symbol. This ruby fire. seal in all this Reiki healing now this little singing bowl I'm from New York I guess <laughs> I don't know if that was a question to me or not This Reiki is sealed within you. And thank you everyone for sharing in this wonderful Reiki healing, this beautiful energy. Now before I leave, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about, that app, that I wanted to share with you is called Finch, F-I-N-C-H. Thank you, Milady Creates, for the fireworks, and thank you, Clara, for the rose. Thank you, Permaculture Plants, Erin, Juanita, Karen, Jennifer. So that app is called Finch. It's a self-care app that you can download for free, and it's like a little like a Tamagotchi app where you take care of this little bird I found on Instagram. It allows you to set little goals for yourself during the day, like mindfulness goals, meditation, exercise, 
moments to reflect in gratitude and appreciation and your little bird grows with all the goals that you complete and kind of helps you in your healing journey and gives you little boosts motivation throughout the day um, it's a really cool little app it's very cute and if you like taking care of little burbs and caring for yourself um, mindfulness check out finch on the app store and they should sponsor me probably <laughs> but i found them on instagram and i loved it almost immediately the second thing that i wanted to talk to you about and the reason why i've been so busy haven't had a chance to do the sprays is i've been working very hard on this art project this digital art collectible sale that i'm having tomorrow so i've been drawing a lot of ingredients for recipes and frogs as a lot of you know, I draw different frog characters on the side. Um, I'm having a big art sale tomorrow. And you guys by no means don't have to. I just love the fact that you guys support me. But if you want to check it out, I put the link in my TikTok story. It's at justweirdtv.thetadrop.com. But check out my story on my TikTok page and check out that link. Um, if you did want to pick up some of these collectibles and participate, you would have to make an account and all that stuff. And I know it's a lot of work, but if you guys want to check it out, I'd be very, very grateful. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. As this Reiki healing continues to work in your body, in your energy, please remember to be gentle with yourself. Drink lots of water. Don't eat too heavy. Get lots of rest. Maybe take a nice mindful shower, bath, wash that excess energy off of you. Visualize it going down the drain, consciously releasing any leftover energy. And you guys have a wonderful night. I will be back on tomorrow night. I'm on YouTube. So if you haven't already, check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio, Spirit Pond. I'll be live on YouTube tomorrow night. So I love you all. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys have a wonderful night. Get some rest and I'll see you all tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Good night. Bye.